Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity, and today I have a very special video tutorial or proof of concept that shows me playing Age of Empires 1, 2, and 3 in Tungle. No Hamachi, no Garena, no Game Ranger, just Tungle. So how do we do it? Pretty simple. First of all, uh, get the Tungle program. And then second of all, of course, get the games. So today I'm inside the Age of Empires 1 room with my second PC here, Versatile Laptop account. So we're going to play Age of Empires 1, 2, and 3. Now, I do want to note that every single game, if you want to play with other players, make sure you are, you are updated to the latest version. And there's one trick you got to do for Age of Empires 3. took me a while to figure it out on Google because when you host the game, it uses your internal IP address, 192.168.0. whatever. So we want to force Age of Empires 3 to use your Tungwa IP address. How do we do that? So go to your Age of Empires 3 game directory, double click on startup. Now you won't have a user.cfg file, so what I did was I just right clicked and copy and pasted production and I just edited it. But just make sure you create a user.cfg, open it up with notepad, and then just basically write this line, one line in the notepad file, override address equals semicolon, sorry, quotation mark, type in your Tungle IP address and then end it with quotes. That's a capital O and then that's a capital A. And then you file, save, and then that's it. And then when you run the Age of Empires 3 game, it will use your Tungle IP address when you're hosting. So with that said, let me jump straight into all three gameplay videos. It's going to be a good time. Let's do this. Alright, so here we are, Age of Empires, main menu, click on multiplayer, and then go ahead, type in your name, click on internet, TCP, IP, click OK. And then, click on create if you are the host, or click on show games and use the join button. If you are the client, give your game a name, press OK. And now, to double check your game is working, you click on IP, it should definitely say your Tungo IP address. If it doesn't, then you screwed up with your Tungo and you need to recheck your settings. So momentarily my laptop will join my game and then we will be good to go. Sweet, so there is the laptop, I click on I'm ready, I make the computer say I'm ready, and then I say start game, and here we go. So the game works fine. Uh, definitely like this game. It's old school gaming. If you want to play, definitely hit up the Tungo Room. So now let's go ahead and go to the next video game in this series. Alright, so here we are. Age of Empires 2, the Age of Kings. So let's click on multiplayer and type in my name here. And it's pretty simple. Just go down to local LAN TCP IP. My laptop currently has the game already up and running, so I will be joining the laptop today. So what's going to happen is it's going to be automatically looking for game. Oh look, laptop's game, sweet. I click on join, and it's as simple as that. If you are the host, make sure that when you're hosting, click on the IP button, and it should show you a pop-up box with your Tungo IP address. If it does not, then you have a Tungo configuration error I suggest you take a look at the Tungo troubleshooting video. So, like I said, if I click on this button here, oh, maybe not, because I am the client. But if you are the host, you will have this IP button right here. You click on it, and it'll show you your IP. So now all I gotta do is click on I'm ready, and I will have my laptop do the same thing, and start the game, and we will be good to go. 10 seconds. Five seconds. So if you are an Age of Empires 2 fan, by all means hit up the Tungo Room and let's play. Now the colors are a little bit screwed up in Windows 7, maybe in Windows Vista. If you do the resolution trick where you alt tab, open up the properties of the screen resolution and then go back into the game, then all the colors are fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go to the next video game series. All right, so here we are at the beautiful main menu of Age of Empires 3. So we click on multiplayer, click on LAN, and then go ahead and do your home cities, manage that if you need to, then click on play, and then I'm going to host the game. 
Um, if you're going to join a game, basically my game will show up right here, and then you can just click on join and you're good to go. So let me host the game. Notice that in the top center here, it uses my IP address, just like because we use the user.cfg file and configure the override address equals your Tungle IP address within the quotation marks. So now I just change this to two players because that's all I got today. And then let me make my laptop join my game. And he will be in here momentarily. So I say team one for myself. Laptop will go team two. And laptop clicks on ready. I click on ready. And the game will start by itself. So by all means, if you are an Age of Empires 3 player, please come to Tungle. We need your support. We need more gamers. And I just want to show you guys that yes, this does work. I'm hosting a LAN in my house, but yet people all over the world can join me. So the game clearly works. Um, it's not lag. It's not lagging at all. Um, and that's about it. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment here on the YouTube page, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.